Hey everyone, so as I dove into the world of developing habits, I pressure tested and came across a few very effective methods that turned out to be really good for me. I already made a video about pressure testing the so-called two-minute rule created, <laughs> created by James Clear, which turned out to be really effective not only for me, but also a whole group of people because after seeing that video, a lot of people started to do that together with me. Another method that I discovered is something that I call grouping, and actually that takes again inspiration from the writer of Atomic Habits, James Clear. In this video, I will not only introduce to you the details of how that method works, but you will also see recordings and examples of me using that method for seven days in a row. I use the grouping practice together with the two-minute rule. If you are unfamiliar with the two-minute rule, it's a commitment to perform some action every day for at least two minutes, where you continue to go on if you are inspired. If you are interested to learn more about the two-minute rule, I made a special video about it, which you can find by pressing this link here in the corner. Now to come back to grouping, the main idea behind grouping is that you take something that you are already used to doing and then you add an additional action together with it. For example, my favorite grouping practice is to watch Netflix, which I love doing already, but instead of watching it on a couch, I add foam rolling together with it, which now suddenly becomes a practice of grouping. And I even managed to group it together with playing with my dog. And for all seven days that I did the practice in a row, the results were great. Not only did I catch up with my Netflix shows, but I also ended up foam rolling for at least 30 minutes each time, which I would have probably did much less of, or none at all, if I didn't create this form of grouping. I noticed on some of the days, I would even be looking forward to watching TV shows just because I wanted to also do some foam rolling. Now watching Netflix also feels much more productive and even healthy. The other grouping practice that I did for seven days in a row and recorded was my continuation of doing the two minute rule shadow boxing, aka shadow box for at least two minutes and continue if inspired, which I already got used to doing, but instead of stopping there, I also added two more two minute rule practices of learning to stand up on my hands from the so-called crow position and then doing some sort of fitness exercise, which I kept changing daily to make sure I don't burn out a single group of muscles and give enough time for them to recover. Some days I felt tired and I only did the minimum basic, two minutes of each exercise and that was it. But on other days I was on fire and not only did I do each exercise for longer, but I also continued to do more exercise than I planned in the beginning, ending up with doing a full workout. I also even got a pep talk from my dog to keep on going. <laughs> While my initial intention was just to do a little bit of shadow boxing, a little bit of skill work, and then chest work, at the end, I continued on to do more exercises because I felt inspired. But don't take this as an example of how much to do. It's an example that if you feel inspired, there's a pretty big chance you will continue to do more and you will end up doing a full workout. And this is the whole beauty of this method. But always after the two minutes end, if you don't feel inspired about doing anything, don't do it. Don't add more exercises. Don't continue doing it because then the next day you won't feel like continuing. Just continue on doing what you are inspired. One day you will be, another you won't, but trust me, those days will come. In the end though, each day, whether I was tired or inspired, knowing that it's only three different exercises to do for only two minutes each, it wasn't difficult to get it done. And because of it, I didn't feel any motivational problems. The last form of grouping that I did and had great success with as well, was walking my dog which I would do daily one way or another, but I turned it into a form of grouping by listening to an audiobook at the same time. Not only did that make my walks with my dog longer, since sometimes I would get hooked on the audiobook and wouldn't want to stop listening to it, so I continued my walks, but I also already finished listening to two audiobooks and I've started tackling my third one, and all of them just when I was walking with my buddy. What was interesting too to notice is that sometimes I would just want to listen to the audiobook and that would make me go out for a walk with my dog, which was great not only for me, but obviously for him as well. So as you can see, I found the method of grouping to be very effective. But this series of episodes wouldn't be called pressure testing life if I wouldn't say this to you. While the grouping method really worked out well for me, don't come to the conclusion that it works, period. Test it out yourself. What works for me, maybe won't work for you. Or maybe it's going to work even better for you than it worked for me. If you want to pressure test grouping, just find something that you already love to do and you're doing almost daily, and then add something that you wish to do next to it. 
I'm sure you will easily find ideas where you can add grouping to your own life. And if you want to test out grouping or the two minute rule together with me and a bunch of other people, then feel free to join the two minute rule club on Facebook where me and a bunch of other people are sharing their two minute journeys, their grouping journeys, where we share our successes, failures, and everything to inspire each other to continue on in our journeys. Also, let me know in the comments here on what ideas you have for grouping and what you think you might group together in your life. And until I will see you next time, keep questioning.